People who inhaled gas, either they died or they are sick. I cannot tell you about that night actually what happened. I, as I was just six months old. Seven of ten members of my family, they died that night. And I and my sister and my elder brother, we were the only survivors from our family. The toxic waste that is still lying in and around the factory is contaminating the uh, groundwater of that area and the poor people who are living nearby the factory they are forced to drink contaminated water because they do not have any choice so the children born to the exposed parents they are being born with uh, birth deformities even the children of the people who are drinking contaminated water children born to those people they are being with uh, several deformities several disabilities so that's why i said this the disaster is still going on i see met a lot of sick people a lot of children with birth defects and after seeing all of that i decided that this is my fight for my rights and i should not let any corporation take away my future people of Bhopal are still fighting and I think we call it one of our very big victories that now even 25 years later people know about Bhopal that people are still fighting and Dow Chemical who came to India only to expand its business in India has not been able to do so because of pressure of people of Bhopal. Uh, we are asking Dow Chemical to clean up its toxic waste that they have left behind. We are asking Dow Chemical to provide clean drinking water uh, for people who are drinking contaminated water because of dumping of Union Carbide's toxic waste. And we are also asking Dow Chemical to uh, pay for medical monitoring for those children and for those adults who have been drinking contaminated water.